More than two weeks after the Marshall Fire ravaged much of Boulder County, we're still trying to grasp just how much damage was done. The search continues for 91-year-old Nadine Turnbull. Nadine was last seen in her home in Superior, which was destroyed in the fire. 69-year-old Robert Sharp was killed in the fire. His remains were found near his home in Marshall, near where the fire started. We know that more than 1,000 homes were destroyed. Losses are estimated at more than a half a billion dollars. Now, for those whose homes are still standing, there's a lot of damage to deal with. CBS 4's Connor McHugh, live in Louisville. Connor, experts out there today assessing just how much damage was done. Was done. Yeah, Jim, these assessments are strictly focused on smoke and wind damage and involve dozens of volunteers, some from some of these very same neighborhoods. Experts say this is just the next step in a recovery process that could take years. More than two weeks after the Marshall Fire tore through Louisville and Superior, the work to recover is just beginning. Uh, I'm Ryan and this is Chanel. We're volunteers with Boulder County. On Sunday, close to 50 volunteers went door to door through neighborhoods where homes still stand. Do you think you will have any items to put out? Their goal? Take inventory of what was damaged by smoke or wind and share information on the county's plans to collect it. If we don't know, we can't help. Basically, Jamie Portelli with AC Disaster Consulting is helping lead the way on this next phase of debris removal for the county. It'll culminate in a curbside pickup of smoke or wind damaged furniture, fencing, and more on January 24th. I think the estimate is about a two week period to get it all done. Portelli says crews will not take anything with fire damage or ash, though future debris removal efforts will address that. It's a long haul, but there, there are resources out there to help. Um, and that's what we're here here for. Of those helping Sunday, many lived in the neighborhoods affected, but others, like the Adams, came from out of town. Just smoke or wind damage. With each stop, they hope to make the road to recovery a little more clear. These people are incredibly brave. It makes me feel good to know that I can alleviate even a small portion of what they're suffering through. Now, if someone wasn't home today or wasn't able to get home, those volunteers left flyers with information at their properties. Also, anyone who has some of this damage and wants to know more information or even wants to self-report it, there are forms online and more information online on Boulder County's website. In Louisville, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.